before you take your seat, we have to get this sworn in. Would you raise your right hand? State your full name and spell your last. Nikki Barrero, B as in boy, O R R T R O. Do you swear or affirm under the penalty provided by law that the testimony you're about to give this court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Barrero. Please take your seat. I'm going to ask that you keep your voice nice and uh, loud so we can hear you. Allow the attorneys to finish their questions before you answer, and they'll extend the same courtesy to you. All right. Yes, sir. Ms. Hutchinson, when you're ready. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, could you just introduce yourself again to the jury? My name is Nikki Barrero. And Ms. Barrero, where are you currently employed? Petrol Truck Stop in Morningdale. And what is your position? A general manager. Um, and by general manager, what are the areas that you oversee within the truck stop? Um, at the present moment, I oversee the Few Island and the travel stores. Um, now, how long have you worked at the Petro Truck Stop? Um, at this current location, about a year. Okay. And prior to that, where else did you work? Um, I was still with the company, but I traveled, so I was in Scranton prior to coming back to Bordentown. I traveled to Atlanta. I originally started in Bordentown, so they sent me to different locations. Okay. Um, but ultimately, is it all the same company that you're working for? Yes. Um, now, how many hours a day is the Petro open? Working for 24 hours. And um, in the convenience store area specifically, approximately how many transactions would you say take place per day? How many people are in and out? Um, Convenience store, do you mean by the travel store or the fuel building? Sorry, the fuel island. I'm sorry. Um, fuel buildings, um, we do over 2,000 transactions, probably more, depending on the season. Per day? Per day, yeah. Um, now, drawing your attention to October 12th of 2018, were you working that morning? Yes. And do you recall what your shift was that day? I was working 7 a.m. to 5. Now, uh, did something take place in that Fuel Island store area at approximately 9.15 or a little before? Um, from around that time, my cashier was in the front of the store, and she came to get me back into the, I was in the office, and she stated that a gentleman stated that he was stabbed. And I told her, stop BS at me. And she's like, no, seriously. And as I looked on the camera, I seen a gentleman stumbling on the side of the building, which would be the right side by pump 7 to 12. Um, he came into the store, came right back outside. So when I exit out the office, and I went through that side of the door, which is pump 7 to 12, he was stumbling inside, and he was walking out to go towards the outside door, which was pump 7 to 6. Okay, now how many doors, how many entrances or exits are in this, this store area? Um, we have three, one for the employees, and then two for the customers. So two for the general public? Yes. Okay. I'm going to show Ms. Barrero S5, which is for identification purposes. Okay. Ms. Barrero, are you familiar with this? Do you know what that is? This is the, the location from the travel store to where the field building is and some of the parking lot. Okay. Um, of the Petro? Yes. Okay. And is it an accurate representation of uh, or depiction of that area as you know it to be? Yes. Okay. Now at this time I'm going to move S5 to the evidence. Any objection? No objection. No objection. May be published. Ms. Barrera, I'm actually going to ask you to join me over here at this map. No, I don't think my client can see that's okay. Maybe we move that over to the left a little bit. We can move that, Ms. Hutchinson, so uh, the defendant can see as well. Good luck with this stand, it's a little fragile, so. Yeah. Sorry. Is that better or do you need to move it? It's better. And then Mr. Tierney needs to reposition himself and continue to do so as well. See the, uh, the exhibit? Yes. yes. All, right. All right. So, Ms. Burr, can you point out, um, just let's identify some of the things here on the map. So, where is the uh, where's the fuel island that we were just speaking about? The fuel building is over here. Okay. And is this good word we call it on the map? It's labeled hot food counter. Um, mm -hmm. Is it called anything else? It's usually called the fuel island because we deal with the diesel pump, but the hot food is like we sell hot food inside the fuel building. Okay. And where did you see the man stumble in? What, uh, which side or which building specifically? These are my pumps, so he was on this side. I came out the door this way. So we have entrance here and an entrance on this side. Okay. So when I came out the office, I came in through that way. Okay, so you're pointing to
to the building that's in the upper half right side of the map. Um, and you're pointing to there's an entrance on both sides of that building yes. for the patrons. Now, where is your office again? My office is in the back. All right, may I ask you to put an X where your office is? Okay. And now, what, what was your direction of travel when you come out of the office? When I come out of the office, I came out to this way, and there's a little entrance door here that leads inside this door. Okay. Now, what's down this area at the bottom of the map here? Uh, the bottom left hand corner of the map, what is, what is that area? So back here is the back entrance to the travel store. So we have a gym, we have a doctor, we have um, the gym, the doctor, then we have like a home shop, we have a movie theater here, then we have another entrance on this side. So we have an RV, this is, this is the travel store, and then we have the iron skillet and another entrance here. Okay, so the iron skillet is at the bottom of this building, so closer to the bottom left-hand portion of this map as we're seeing it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, is this a fair representation of how many trucks are generally parked in the area? Uh, uh, way more, so yeah. <laughs> way more than yeah. in this picture? Yeah, because we have the way that a parking lot is. I have parking spaces all the way this way. I have parking spaces all the way that way, all the way around. So it's more constantly filled with trucks. Okay. Is it fair to say that this is just a small picture of that area? It's actually a lot bigger.
putting him against his body against the door. And I told Jennifer, lock the door so nobody can come in. So even after you lock the door on the one side, are there still patrons going in and out of the store on the other side? There was quite a few through the driver's chair. Um, now, at some point, uh, did an ambulance arrive? Yes. And what was the store like after the ambulance takes the victim away? Um, it was a mess. I mean, I had somebody come outside and I said, I need you guys to clean this blood up here so we can enter, so we can get this back open over on this side. Because we, we had double trucks on each island and it was so busy that day. I said, I need you guys to hurry up so we can get this side open. Okay, so it was at your direction yes. that the porters began to clean the blood? Yes. Um, now, at some point, did someone stop them from cleaning? Mm, no, because by the time, this is by the time the ambulance, or excuse me, by the time the detectives came, the one side, pumps one through six, was already cleaned up. Okay, and when you say pumps one through six, are you speaking about where he was laying on the ground? Yes. Okay, so that was completely clean? Um, basically, they just had hot water and scrub, they had a scrub brush and was just scrubbing it. Okay. Now, you spoke about the blood being inside, too. Can you explain to me where it was? The blood, there was blood trails on the floor and there was blood on top of merchandise. I had beef jerky that the gentleman had dropped on the ground as he was walking through. Okay. Um, have you ever had a stabbing at the truck stop before? No. So was it at the top of the forefront of your mind to think about a potential crime scene? Objection to the beef. Total diminished knowledge. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Sure. Was it, uh, was it on your mind to think about any type of a potential crime scene? No. Um, now, is there video in the Fuel Island, or I'll call it convenience store area? Yes. And uh, does it record? Yes. And is it constantly recording? Yes. And do you recall, was it recording on October 12th that morning? Yes. And uh, do you recall who pulled the video off of your system and turned it over to the police? I was there along with Rosario. He's the one that we basically helped the police. Okay. So you were present when that took place, though? Yes. And prior to coming here today, have you watched the surveillance video? One time. Okay. Um, Your Honor, at this time. Um, so